Hey guys! Hey guys, what's up? I look really fucking crusty. It's fine. Mm, is it fine? I haven't filmed a video in so fucking long. That it hurts my heart. I don't know. I love fucking filming videos. I'm sad that I haven't filmed one in a while. I've been uploading every week still, but before I was uploading like two videos a week and I'm uploading one. I just, I'm gonna go back to uploading a lot more, but regardless. Okay, I got a fucking pink drink and I forgot to ask for no ice or like light ice and it was literally like filled to the top and I drank that shit in like two sips and then I had some water left and like my water bottle is like the smallest amount of water, it was like less than five ounces and then I poured it in here and it filled it all the way the fuck up so I don't want to do a video on like how much liquid is actually in a Starbucks cup or drink. It's almost Thanksgiving and most people really like Thanksgiving food. I really like Thanksgiving food and so I'm gonna make one of my favorite Thanksgiving foods. Where I'm going for Thanksgiving, they're not having pumpkin pie. So I'm gonna make homemade pumpkin pie right now. I'm really fucking excited for it. I'm gonna show you what I've got. This pie is vegan. Yeah, I think this whole pie is, I know it's like the insides are vegan, but I think this crust is vegan. I just got a pre-made crust because I'm not about to make my own crust. It's like a lot of work. I'm just gonna make the filling. So I got a Graham ready crust. So this is all vegan, like I said. I don't know why, I just like wanted to make a vegan pumpkin pie and I just feel like it's like a little bit healthier maybe. Also, I'll leave the recipe that I use down below and then anyone can make this for the most part. If you're vegan, not vegan, it doesn't matter. I got cornstarch, coconut milk. I didn't know what coconut milk to get, so I just got one. It just said canned coconut milk, so I don't know. Pumpkin puree, I got two cans because I don't know how much I need. Pumpkin pie spice, and I also got brown sugar, which I already have, I think, but I didn't know how much I had, so. I don't know, I look very bad. I tried to film this before. It got dark, but I literally got this video idea like an hour ago, and then I ran to the store and got all the ingredients. Really fucking excited because I love pumpkin pie and also I have almond milk whipped cream in my fridge right now and it's so fucking good and I'm excited. Is this like literally done? It's like ready? You don't have to... Yeah, it's ready to use. Oh, that smells really good. It says to put all this in a blender but my blender is like really small so we're going to do that today. Okay, so first step is to prepare your crust which is prepared. Is it falling apart? Okay, I probably shouldn't do that because it's literally breaking and I think I just messed it up, but okay. Crust is prepared and then it says add the pumpkin. It says basically you add everything and mix it well. Literally, if you saw the other side of my kitchen right now, you would probably die because it's really fucking dirty and there's a lot of dishes I need to do. But I'm a mom right now, okay? This is hard work. I don't know how people are moms because this shit is hard. Well, I'm just fostering like puppies, but we have four of them. And it's kind of a lot, but I love them so much. So I don't even care, but I love them. So they are literally McBrowie. the cutest things in the world. Yeah, I definitely, definitely need one can, but it's fine. This is one 14 ounce can. Will it really hurt if I put like a one 15 ounce can in there? I'm gonna have to measure one ounce out. That's really annoying, but it's fine. Mmm, smells like pumpkin. So I'm gonna do one and three fourths. I really don't think it's gonna hurt if I do more. It just smells weird. <laughs> Bro, it's literally like plopping in there like a hunter. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm gonna do three, four. Dude, I can literally just put this whole thing. That was so unnecessary. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the rest because this. That was so like extra for me to measure that out. I'll just leave a little bit in there, you know? Okay. Got that. I don't know my face for sure. I just hit pumpkin on me. It's fine. Three fourths. Oh my god, I'm so glad that we got a new can opener. Ours literally completely broke. I didn't realize how expensive can openers were. I thought they were like gonna be like a like couple of dollars, but these things are like eight dollars for like what? Nothing. Three fourths cup full fat coconut milk. in the can shaking well before measuring i didn't see a full fat at all so i don't know hopefully it works i don't really like coconut Happy Thanksgiving. very few things i'll i like coconut like mixed with like other good things but like when things are super coconutty i literally just don't like it like i made i made these cookies that were supposed to be like healthier and 
like they were vegan and I put coconut oil in them and I was just like, bro, all I taste right now is coconut. Like that's it. It's just straight coconut oil in my mouth. So now I just do vegetable oil instead. Now I do not want my cookies to fucking taste like straight coconut oil in my mouth. That is not good for me. I think that's good. I don't freaking know. Like, I don't freaking know. Okay, yeah, that's good enough. I'm gonna open this shit. I try to film so many cooking videos and I just never post them because I literally, they, they just don't turn out good, so. But we're gonna post this one because it's Thanksgiving time. Ugh. Oh my God, my finger is in it, oh my God. Okay, that thing is thick. That shit is deep. Oh, but the moral of my story earlier was that I hope this doesn't taste like coconut, so. I don't think it'll taste super coconutty because there's so much pumpkin and there's so much spices in it. So I think we're good, but like, wow, my phone's about to die. For some reason it didn't charge last night. Brown sugar. Yeah, I definitely made brown sugar last night. I love brown sugar. If you want like a good tip, if you ever make chocolate chip cookies and it calls for white sugar, put brown sugar. I know that's probably like, I forgot to turn the sink off. Sorry, um, I know it's probably like, I don't know if it's like a thing you should be doing, but it tastes better, so don't know. Am I an idiot? I could have swore that that said two thirds cup of brown sugar. It says <laughs> half a cup, so it wasn't even close. I just washed that shit for no reason. One, two. I hope this tastes good. I really do. One fourth cup cornstarch. I've never cooked with cornstarch. I just like avoid things that say cornstarch in a recipe. I don't fucking know why. I just. Oh my god. Uh... That was disappointing. Fucking disappointing. Oh my god, I'm literally getting it everywhere. One fourth cup cornstarch. This shit is messy. One fourth cup maple syrup. I got 100% like pure maple syrup, and I didn't realize how fucking bad like the maple syrup in the like the ones you get like the Aunt Jemima and like the that we have in here and the Hungry Jack ones. I didn't realize how bad they were for you. They literally, it's not even like maple syrup in it. It's just like fake shit. And at, when I first tried like pure maple syrup, it was kind of nasty because I was like not used to it, and it was just. Like, not as, I don't know, it was like just different. And after I had it a few times, I actually really like it now. I think you're just so used to like the super, super sweet, like the bad, normal shit. And when you eat this shit, you're like, ugh, but like, you gotta just get used to it, you know? One teaspoon of vanilla extract. I always just kind of eyeball this shit, because I was like, ooh, in it. That's a teaspoon. I might be a little more than a teaspoon, but we're not gonna talk about it. Two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. Alright, are you gonna open? There we go. I'm actually kind of struggling. That strong is strong. One, two, three, four, and then cinnamon. I literally made the like a huge fucking mess already. And then salt. That's it. I don't like adding salt. To sweet recipes, it's just not my thing, but I'm just gonna add it anyway. Just a little bit. I should have been preheating my oven that whole time, but I forgot. Also, it says have your unbaked pie shell ready, but this one's already baked and it's like pre made. So, will this like burn? Yeah, I didn't think about that. They probably had that unbaked. Ooh, I just broke it. And this is supposed to go in there for 60 minutes. So it might like really burn. For 60 minutes? Whatever, it's too late. We're gonna try it. Pray that it doesn't burn. I literally didn't think about that. How are you supposed to fucking cook a pie in a pre-made pie thing? I don't understand. Oh, well, someone's had to have done it before, so I'm just gonna do it and hopefully it'll work and not burn. It looks like it's mixed all the way. Pretty sure I'm gonna be the only one eating this too, so. I just poured it in. It smells fucking good as shit. It's a long time to bake this shit. 60 minutes. Holy fuck. Do I just like put it in there like in this? I think that I do. Oh my god, literally all my pans are in the fucking sink. Oh my god, I'm literally struggling so much. I'm literally gonna have to wait four hours to eat this. No, five hours because it takes an hour to fucking bake. I'm just gonna like keep checking up on the crust and make sure it's not like burning. I don't fucking know. It's not even fucking pretty good all the way. I've never had to bake something for 60 fucking minutes. There we go. 
to start. Okay, now we have to wait for that. And then we have to wait another four hours after that to eat it. But I'll see you when I take it out the oven. I'm gonna clean up and I'm probably gonna fucking watch Victorious because that's now on Netflix and why not? I just pulled it out, it looks a little dark. But now we have to wait for it to sit in the fridge for four hours. Y'all, it has been four hours. Uh, actually, it's like eight minutes until four hours, but I'm gonna eat this shit now because I'm so excited and I'm also really tired. So, I'm gonna eat it now. I also have hair literally all over me because waffle, we like washed waffle today and after we wash him, he just like sheds like a shit ton. So, that's why I have hair all over me. Also, another thing, I was watching, hold oh on. Can't even see my pie. This glare is not helping me. Okay. Um, also, I was just watching the American Music Awards while I was waiting for my pie. Oh my god. Okay, it's a little crispy. Oh my god, I literally. Look how I just fucking cut that. Oh, I hate my life. This crust is like so hard to cut. As I was saying, I was watching the American Music Awards and I gave myself a big chunk. Taylor Swift's performance was iconic and she got the award for artist decade, first of the decade, I think. I don't know, but that fucking performance was literally amazing and I love her. Oh my gosh. So happy. This is the whipped cream that I have and it's actually really fucking good and it's made with almond milk. I'm gonna, you have to like run it under warm water. Do I really hope this is good? I eat a lot of fucking whipped cream when I make pumpkin pie. I'm gonna give Waffle some. He wants some. He loves whipped cream. Okay, now it's time for the taste test. I really hope this is good. It smells amazing. Is there a hair on it? Put my hair on it. We're gonna just ignore that. Hmm. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm. The almond milk. Almond milk whipped cream. Tastes kind of weird on this. Almond milk whipped cream is like kind of making it taste weird for some reason. It's not like good mixed together. It's just kind of weird. But that's like good by itself. It's weird with this. I can definitely taste like a small hint of the coconut milk. Actually, it doesn't bother me though. It tastes exactly the same. It just has like a hint of coconut milk. So, I don't know. It's like the smallest hint though. Like it's literally like, I don't know, it's really good though. I'm really not really feeling this almond milk whip with this. But this is really good. This is definitely better than like the fucking store-bought shit that my family used to get for Thanksgiving. It tastes way fresher. Oh my god, it's so good. This shit is good. If you're looking for a good pumpkin pie recipe, right here. Oh my god. And that crust. I thought that shit was gonna like burn it up. No, it tastes so good and crispy. Mmm. A graham crust is banging on that. Bro, this shit is so fucking good. I'm pretty sure my mom would get the frozen one. And that crust on that shit is gross. That shit tastes like cardboard. Ugh. Wow. I'm always making homemade pumpkin pie from now on. This shit is so good. This is the best pumpkin pie I've ever had. I think that the coconut taste was the whipped cream. Because even though it's almond milk whipped cream, it has coconut cream in it. So I'm not tasting the coconut really in this anymore. I don't know though. Yeah. I need some water. That shit's so good. I'm pretty sure I'm dehydrated. Bro, I'm literally struggling. But like that is fucking insane. I just thought I would let everyone know. That shit is banging. I wanna eat another piece, but it was really fucking sweet and I really don't think I can right now, so. And you know what? This might be my breakfast tomorrow. Who knows? Only God knows. So I literally have to wake up so early tomorrow. Like 5 a.m. Okay, not 5 a.m. Maybe like 6 a.m. Thanks for watching this video and happy Thanksgiving. I hope you eat food and pumpkin pie and you have a good time. I love you guys so freaking much. Also, we just hit 500 subscribers, which is like crazy to me. Like I can't imagine 500 people like standing in front of me. It may not seem like a lot compared to like everyone else on YouTube, but like also it is a lot and like I'm grateful and I'm happy and thank you for <laughs> subscribing to me i'm fucking awkward as hell bitch i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you like this video even just a little bit and i will see you guys in my next video bye thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers i want to do something for like a video for it but i don't know what to do so if you know comment down below thank you